Now, let's talk about feed for your rabbits. I'm still using a lot of pelleted feed. That even bothers me a little bit. I do mix mine with hay and I'll give them oats in the winter. I give them comfrey. I'll cut the baby leaves off of the squash. Slice, thin slice up organic tomatoes out of the garden, organic squash and zucchini and cucumber out of the garden and get that about every other day. Have to be very careful with your kids. Some foods trying to change their diet midway makes them have diarrhea. In this heat, even in the winter, when they start having diarrhea, they are usually going to die within a day or two. And it is not, it's a heartbreaking experience. I know that they're coming out with some breeds. I've, I've heard that uh, Joel has some that are grass-based and have been bred to be able to handle that. A lot of the rabbits you get now for meat have kind of, I don't know if it's a DNA thing or if it's, they just learned to stomach it, then the babies learn to stomach it, so I guess that is a DNA thing, on pelleted feed. Our goal at Storky Farmstead is to have a pellet feed making machine within a year from today where I can dry out the vegetable matter and the plant matter from my gardens and make my own organic feed. Until then, what I have to do is supplement wisely very cautiously, only introducing new things over a very slow period of time, one thing at a time, you will make them sick. Scoop of this for a rabbit. And when you go to the kits, one scoop of this. Because, well, really not just one scoop. Probably two, maybe three, it depends on how big the feeder is, because they eat. And they eat a lot. Would you recommend keeping your feeders full for your grow outs? Yes. What about your pregnant moms? Um, uh, no. Just a scoop. What scoop though? The little white one or the blue one? The little blue one. The blue one. One blue scoop to them and that'll last them all day. Okay. And then at night when you come in there to check them, they usually have... A little all, bit of feed left. They huh? still got a good bit of feed left because usually they don't eat during the day very often. It's too hot. They eat more at night, so most of the feed still going to be there until the next morning. What about breastfeeding moms? Breastfeeding moms, you put a scoop, two scoops in there because they go their feed. They're like a woman, they got to eat. Eat more to eat more to make to produce the milk. Right. So, so you would put two of those blue ones. Two blue ones to a breastfeeding mom. Yes. Yes, and then we we also supplement yeah. with hay, but that little yeah. white one right there that you're holding. Make a scoop so people can see. This is it for your bucks. One time, one scoop for your bucks. A day, right? A day. You, if you go and feed them two times a day, they gonna get fat, they gonna get lazy, they ain't gonna wanna breed. Same so, with the females. If they're not pregnant and yeah, they're, they're not, not breastfeeding. Yeah, if they're not pregnant or they're not breastfeeding or nothing, you only give them one scoop of this. And you can give them hay if you feel like they yeah. need to eat more. Yeah, and hay. And then you take, we got alfalfa. We feed our uh, our grow outs because the faster we can get them fat enough, we can butcher them out. Butcher them out and get rid of them. It's, so that's how you feed at Starkey Farmstead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we just want to give you an opportunity. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or Savior, we would like to encourage you to repeat this prayer out loud. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Wash me in his blood. Rejuvenate me, Lord. Help me to make better choices and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day and go out there, prosper, multiply.